Hello guys, welcome to another lesson of our MS Excel tutorial series. So in this lesson, we will discuss how to add user form in your worksheet and how to use pivot table for data analysis. Let's go! If you are new to this channel, please click the subscribe button and notification bell to always get updated to our new lessons. Before we will start, please download the file. The file name is form and fibo table and the download link is in the description below. Okay, so our first lesson is um, adding user form in our uh, worksheet. Okay. So the most common way in uh, to input a data in our cells is by directly typing it okay in our cell for example uh, cells rep so we have um, a list of cells representative here so Jin Jan okay Jimmy so you can use data validation or you can type it directly okay okay um okay for the sales um let's input 50,000 then for the cost of goods sold say 35,000 And for the profit, uh, we'll create a formula. Uh, type if error first. So we've already discussed you now what is the purpose of the if error function. Okay, so the formula is d2 minus uh, e2, then blank space, then enter, then copy it to row 20. Okay, so another way to input a data in a cell is uh, by the use of um, user form. Okay, so to use um, user form, you need to add it first in our uh, ribbon. Okay, so go to uh, file, then click option, then uh, customize ribbon okay so first we need to um, create uh, a new group uh, we will add it in the data group okay so click new group then uh, rename the new group to form okay type form then click OK. Okay. Then uh, search for the form uh, command. Okay. Um, commands not in ribbon. Okay. Then find the form. Okay. So okay. Select the form. Then add it to the form group under the data okay then click ok ok so the form is already added in your data here ok so to use our user form uh, we need to um, select our table but before that we need to remove the formulas first remove ok so um, select the table okay highlight the table then click the form okay so uh, as you can see we already entered our first record which is the transaction of gen okay so to add new record just click new okay then type john Then the sales, seventy thousand. 
Okay? Then, 480,000. Okay? Then, okay? So, that will be our next record. Okay? Let's close first. Okay. So, uh, add another record. So, new. So, as you, as you observe that the formula will automatically copy the next uh, row. Okay? So, let's try um, Josh. Okay? Then, the sales would be for 50,000. Then, 300,000 is the cost of sales. Then, click anywhere okay so here's our two records that we entered no? okay so that's how you um, use user form in um, encoding your uh, transaction Okay, our next topic is um, pivot table. Okay, go to transaction table. So, pivot table is an MS Excel powerful tool for uh, data analytics. So, it is used for uh, summarizing, analyzing, and visualizing data. So, to use this tool, um, I highlight the whole um, records. including the um, the header okay then uh, in click insert then pivot table okay then uh, select new worksheet no so choose where you want to pivot table to play uh, to be placed okay uh, select new worksheet then uh, click OK okay to so get started um, drag the cell strip to the rows okay so the pivot table will summarize the cell strip okay from the from our um, database okay then uh, Drag the cells to the values. Okay, so this is the cells per uh, cells representative. Okay, so you can um, convert it to comma style. Okay, so if you click outside uh, the pivot table, the fields will disappear and it will reappear if uh, you click inside the um, pivot table okay so to add more analysis uh, drag the sex to the rows field okay then uh, drag the cells rep under the sex uh, field. Okay. So, the table now will um, separate uh, the cells rep per sex, uh, male and female. Okay. Then you can also uh, add regions to the column or cells per region okay so to do that drag the region field to the columns so this will be the um, cells per region to add more features uh, you can also add slicer okay to add slicer go to go to pivot table analyze then uh, click slicer 
insert slicer okay so let us select regions and text okay then click okay okay so you can group your uh, data by using the slicer for example uh, i want to i want only to show sales per uh, mail okay so click mail okay so the the table will show all uh, sales for the mail um, sales representative okay so i want to show all sales for the mail and for the region midwest okay so click midwest okay so these are the sales uh, for the midwest for the male sales representative okay for the female click female okay so these are the sales for uh, for the midwest for the female 426,455 okay for the east for female 358,140 okay so that's how powerful uh, uh, this tool for data analysis okay so to select multiple uh, fields just click the button here multi select click to enable it one then you can select midwest okay so these are the sales for east and midwest and their grand total okay you can select another region okay for the east midwest and west and their grand total okay and you can select all uh, regions including the okay including the uh, sex okay so we can also add charts to our table table for more uh, data analytics tool um, okay to add a chart go to table table analyze tab then uh, select table charts okay click okay so we can select um a chart that will fit to our data okay so in this case we can select a column or bar bar chart okay then click okay okay so this will be our chart per um sales person okay place it here adjust the size okay so we can select uh, we can use the um, the slicer to uh, adjust the chart Okay, for example, show only female, um, female sales rep. Okay, so okay, so these are the sales for female uh, sales representative. Okay, then okay, let us deselect the multi-select button for the region. Okay. Um, show only the uh, sales uh, per female for uh, south okay so these are the uh, chart for your the south uh, region okay for the west region okay here okay so that's how you use this uh, powerful tool for your data analysis Okay, so that's all for this lesson. Um, please uh, write your comments inside the comment section or you can also uh, write your question about MS Excel. Okay, so have a good day.